Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm your host, Herbert Louie, and today we'll be continuing our series on pimping your pod. Well, actually, we won't exactly be pimping a pod today. It'll be more like pimping your phone. You see, ringtones nowadays are very important to a human. Before, it, it was just the same ringtone, just that same beeping one over and over again. But nowadays, ringtones identify who we are. They're important to society and important to personal expression. So why do ringtones cost that much? What the heck am I saying? Ringtones only cost $3, right? Well, yeah. But with the variety that we enjoy and our really short attention spans... This generation isn't going to stick with one ringtone for more than a year. In fact, probably not more than a month. And at that rate, you'll be spending around $3 a month at least. And since there are 12 months in the year, we'll be spending $36 per year on ringtones. That might not sound like much. Actually, that sounds like a lot. $36 for some ringtones that you probably never use, never ever listen to again? Like... That is enough money to buy you, I don't know, like a week's worth of lunch. You could buy yourself a week's worth of lunch instead of ringtones for a year. Better yet, you can buy me a week's worth of lunch. Well, anyway, you're going to want to thank me after this. I'm going to teach you how to make your own ringtones. And I'm not even talking about those low-quality, normal mp3 files I'm talking about you can cut them out where you want maybe at the chorus at the beginning a certain line that you like anything this puts personal expression to the pinnacle and it it's saves money and it's customizable come on what more could you ask now all you're gonna need is the name of the song well actually you're gonna need the mp3 file of the song that you want to do and you're going to need a program called Audacity, which we took a look at already in our first video of the series. Um, mixing two or more tracks into one. You're going to want to take a look at that if you haven't heard of Audacity before. But for all you out there who have Audacity already, let's just load it up. And um, you're going to want to import your music files. So go to Project and Import Audio. And... Now, before you actually do this, I put a lot of consideration to it already, you're going to want to think about which ringtone to use. I mean, if it means a lot to you, then go right ahead and use the Halo theme, but I guarantee you it'll be a public surprise. Surprise would actually be a nicer way to describe it, but anyway, just give it consideration to people around you because you're not going to be the only one hearing this ringtone. Now I chose Maroon 5 Sunday Morning. It's got a nice slow rhythm to it and it's not going to be disturbing everyone around me. Not everyone's going to hate me after hearing the ringtone so I think it's fine. Now what you're going to want to do is just take a stab in the dark and play the song wherever you click it. If it's before the selected piece keep advancing. If it's after you're going to want to go back a bit and just check it again. So just simply hit the space bar or click the play button. And you should and you should know the song well enough to tell whether or not that's the chorus. That was definitely not the chorus. Still not the chorus. That was the chorus. So you might want to take into consideration fading in and out. You're gonna want a few seconds ahead if you really do want to fade in so that it just leads right up to the chorus and you don't um, have it fade in there and for fading out it's not actually that big of a deal because you're probably gonna already have picked up your phone by then hopefully for the person on the other line and for all the people around you in public so you, the arrow keys are really gonna be useful here you're just gonna want to nudge it and whatever and sample the track oops looks like I let go of my my selection there perfect um, I'm gonna want to fade in so I'm gonna take a few extra seconds and now what you're wa gonna want to do is con uh, hit the control and T button to trim the selection and select 
the time shift tool, move it to the beginning. And then you're going to want to select the selection tool, highlight maybe a little bit on the in the beginning and go to effect and select fade in. And then a good chunk at the end, effect and fade out. And you're done. You're going to want to sample this. Um, so let's just play it. Now I'm pretty satisfied with what happened. Um, if you're not, just um, undo and retrim it, or um, just save it as a .aup file um, and just edit it later. It's really no big deal. But um, you're gonna want to export it as an MP3 file. Now um, we both know pretty well that lots of carriers really lock their phones. Meaning they won't let you play .mp3 files over a certain size. Now this size restriction shouldn't be a problem because our ringtone is relatively small size. But if it is, you're going to want to compress it a bit. Um, download a software called Media Coder. And um, just change the bit rate because you're not going to need such high quality. Yes, I'm going to save it. And now we're exporting and we're good. All you got to do is either connect your phone via Bluetooth or um, DSC cable and you'll be pretty much done. Um, if you want, we really could sample this in Windows Media Player just to make sure it works. Now hold on there, we really did hear something weird. Well I think I heard something weird. Either way, it's probably just the computer. Now I can't emphasize that enough, it's really good to double check. So you're going to want to check the properties. It's only 384 kilobytes, not even a megabyte yet. And so it really shouldn't be a problem, the size restriction that is. And so you just drag it into your phone and just set it as a ringtone. And you're pretty much done. Um, so that's pretty much it. If you want, you could still download some ringtones. I suggest you don't. And save the money to buy yourself a lunch, buy me lunch. And um, just... Drop by cutedge.org on a frequent basis and visit visit me, you know, read some cool articles. Um, I'm your host, Herbert Louie, and I wish you a nice day.